what's written in the program notes along by Joanne um, was this whole discussion we had had about about fetish and how um, you know there there's an intrinsic thing there's some, I mean first of all there's something that comes from the heart that creates the obsession for something you know it's something instinctive so you don't need to learn it or something it's just something you feel and whether it's for a bag or a shoe piece of music, uh, a, a automobile or whatever, it doesn't matter, there's no reason to excuse it. These are luxuries in life and they're to be enjoyed and um, I kind of think the bigger your passion or fetish for something is, the more, you know, the more it must mean to you and so therefore the more important it is and the bigger the commitment is and, and I, I think that's great. What a breath of fresh air. He's just a giant on the Paris landscape. And that was such an exciting, invigorating show. It was just spectacular. And even the beginning where he had the elevators coming up in cages and people, the models coming out, it was just spectacular. It was a really great show. And I think there will be a lot of analyzing and uh, chin stroking, but I think there will also be a lot of clothes walking right out the store. I loved it. I thought it was great. Very strong, very sexy. I, I love the show itself, the elevators, the music, the haunting kind of really a bit sexy music, but classic, of course. I love the, the, the trench coats and that, you know, fake lycra le leather. Fantastic. There's some great handbags. The casting is there was many, many, all the big girls, big girl, all the huge girls. It was just, just amazing job. It was excellent. Beyond, beyond this was fetish. This was uh, full of uh, waitress reference, which is fantastic. Kind of Giburden and Newton style. I mean, everybody loves this style. It's really French, really, really stylish. I love it. I love the shoes. I love everything. The the, the spirit. I love um, the old uh, the, the 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 girly thing and officer. The contrast. I love it. It was great. The accessories were great too. The shoes were amazing, and, um, and the structure. I love it really. I loved it. I mean, I think, you know, I've been working with Mark now for 14 years and honestly I think it's the strongest show that he ever launched from, you know, the, the collection itself, from the setting, uh, the material, the shapes, the imagination uh, and at the same time this reinvention of one of our icons, the Lockheed, 65 girls and 65 reinventions of the Lockheed. I mean, that's, that's pure Mark.
men have fetishes too, you know, sports cars, yachts, etc. We all have fetishes, and again, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with a fetish. I mean, there, I guess there's always degrees to which things are healthy or unhealthy, but as we constructed this whole thing, we, we sort of thought about every single aspect of this little hotel fantasy with these creatures getting in and out of elevators and these, these old elevator men who'd been working in this hotel forever and all the French maids who were dusting the outside of the tent and serving all the guests. And I just thought it's just, it's just such a weird sort of nice little melancholy 10 o'clock in the morning end of Paris Fashion Week thing. I'm amazed. I knew, we knew, you know, over the, the, the days and the weeks that uh, the collection would be fabulous. But at this point, uh, it's really fantastic for us. Fantastic to see Kate Moss come out, sort of insolently smoking at the end. I mean, it was a fantastic moment. And you could see everybody thinking, good God, that's Kate Moss. There was a big cheer went up when people realized it was her, but I think the cheer was also for the cigarette. Not that I'm condoning smoking, but nevertheless, it was a naughty moment in a naughty show.